You asked me, you know, what do I say about consciousness? Have you ever thought what this wor word says, conscious? No, what, what, I haven't really thought you about know, it, no. Words have a hidden meaning. Yes. They have roots. Mm -hmm. The roots of consciousness is two Latin words. Mm -hmm. Con mm -hmm. and scientia. Yeah, no. Scientia is knowing uh -huh. or no. a science, okay. a state of knowledge. Yeah. Con means together. Oh. Consciousness means a knowing together with something. Oh. What are we talking about? You, you use this uh -huh. word yeah. with whom or with what are you thinking? Right. And I think, you know, it's like this. There is a realm of thoughts, of forms, you can call them thoughts, that fills the entire universe. Mm. Our brain is the instrument that can receive signals out of it and we become aware of them that's our consciousness beautiful well said so i love this because you're putting together this show is all about ancient wisdom modern style oh okay um i say that tomorrow in my lecture but it doesn't yeah, matter this is good because you're taking you these ancient costumes no. uh, I ancient okay yeah for ancient like um Already in the 18th century, there's a German idealist philosopher, Hegel, mm -hmm. Georg Friedrich Wilhelm Hegel. Um, he said the basic structure of the world is a consciousness, is a mind. Everything comes out of it and everything belongs to it. And if you think, if you are proud of your thoughts, think twice because it's not you thinking, it's the cosmic consciousness thinking in you. I love that. Deepak says that a lot too, right? Actually, yes. Because it wasn't Hegel who invented it. He thought he might. But the ancient Indian sages, they had, a, they had an allegory of water pots. You take a million pots of water, fill them with water, and put them in the sun. Uh -huh. The sun is in each one of them. You can take a million people, they all have consciousness. But there's only one sun, there's only one consciousness. That's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> and it's nothing new, it's all ancient wisdom, but how come it's taking us till now to figure it out? We got yes. off course. See, that's, that's my topic. Why didn't we figure that out earlier? Because it is so different from the way we have been taught to think. Yes. That it will have to... It will take a change of the structure of our consciousness. For example, what it says is you can have a spiritual view of the world and a rational view, and they're not in conflict. Mm -hmm. In 1900, you know, when people still believed in classical physics, you could not believe in physics and have a religious faith and not be stupid. There was something didn't fit. These things changed. And many other things change. You see, um, the, this realm of forms, they, they are hanging together, they, they form a wholeness. Mm -hmm. Physicists are starting of a wholeness of the universe when the world dis globalizes and we discover we are really all one human human community yes that's exactly it we're all connected and we're here to help each other learn right. and grow that's what i call the law of relationship so thank you so much all i've right. learned a lot from you and i appreciate your time thank all you right. oh i got kissed too yes, oh my god yes yes yes, yes. <laughs>